www.functionalanatomyseminars.com. Today we're going to go over uh, a common mistake uh, when you're doing any dead start lifts. Dead start lifts meaning any lifts uh, where the weight is going to be moved from a stationary position uh, immediately into the lift. So that would include things like uh, dead lifting or statue, um, even if you're doing dead start uh, chin ups or dead start bench press. Uh, so the thing we want to talk about uh, in order to prevent injury is not getting that initial jerk of the weight up, but rather using um, a preload in order to minimize the chance of injury. Uh, so Chris is going to demonstrate what not to do first. We have a very light weight here, so it's pretty safe. So he's going to get into a uh, deadlift position. And when people go to lift a heavy weight, they think that they need to build up by extending or, or lifting as quick as possible. So they do that little jerk motion at the beginning, uh, thinking that it's going to help their lift. Now it's at that moment where the chance of getting a segmental spinal buckle is at its highest. Uh, segmental spinal buckle meaning when one vertebra will shear over the other vertebra under the pressure. Uh, so in order, in order to prevent these things from happening, what we do is we do something called preloading. Preloading means we're going to tense up all of the muscles before the lift occurs. So while the, the bar is dead or on the ground or stationary, we're going to squeeze our hands as, as tight as we can. We're going to contract all of our body, make sure we're bracing our core, and then the lift will be a gradual lift off the ground. So you're almost functioning like a piston or like a hydraulic as opposed to exploding the weight off of the floor. So now he's going to do it properly here. So he takes a deep breath in, he holds the breath, and then he's going to slowly lift it up. Successfully, uh, what will happen is you'll come halfway up and then you'll realize that your muscles can't do anymore, so they'll go right back down. If you can't make the lift and you do the jerk start like we did before, uh, that's the, the greatest chance of you blowing your back. So that's one of the major uh, things that I see people doing when they're doing lifts, especially if they're doing deadlifts for time and they're trying to do it as fast as possible. Even if you're trying to do it for time, uh, the risk is so high. Uh, uh, jerking the weight up that your back is going to blow on you, so try not to do that. Another uh, way that a lot of people injure themselves when they're lifting, once again, especially if they're lifting for time, if you're doing, say, a CrossFit time interval, uh, is when they try to control the bar after they've dropped it. So after you do a lift, you drop the bar, it bounces off the ground. Um, a lot of people try to catch the bar and then try to lower it slowly. So once again, he's using a, a very light weight, so it's relatively safe to demonstrate this. So people will do the lift, they'll drop it, and then they'll try to catch it and put it back down. So they'll try to gobble it down. Uh, one more time, so he drops it. One more time properly. So he drops it, and then he'll try to catch it and put it back down. Now you've got to take into consideration, when you're dropping the weight, when it's bouncing back up, you have gravity plus the weight uh, that's being, uh, that, that's uh, being, put all of the force right into your low back. Now, because you increase the moment arm because you're catching it away from your body, you have to multiply the weight, and then you have to add in the factor of gravity, plus you have to add in the moment arm. That, uh, all together, usually uh, will end up injuring you, uh, especially if you're using a substantial weight. So the better thing to do in this situation, if you want to control the bounce, is to just kind of drop it and then push the bar back down on the ground. So just demonstrate that. Lift and drop. So by pushing it back down, you can speed up yourself. You can speed yourself up to the next rep, but you'll, you'll, you'll uh, run less chance of injuring yourself by doing that. 